Hey, um, I got some dates coming up. I'm filming my special in Denver, September 24th. Also, I'm going to be in Salt Lake City, uh, September 9 and 10. Then I'm doing Bray on the 13th. I'm doing Minneapolis and Madison, Wisconsin, 16, 17. Then September 24th, I'll be in Denver filming my special at the Paramount Theater. Go to andrewsantino.com for those tickets. andrewsantino.com for those tickets. You two are bad friends. Who are these two idiots? A white dude and an Asian dude. You two are disgusting. Well, you two are something. We're bad friends. Well, why are you got beef with Carlos? I don't have any beef with him, dude. Well, why do you have carnitas with him? I don't even know what the th- whatever it is with him. Yeah, yeah. I got something. Oh, with I have him. carnitas to, yeah, for sure. Yeah, you got carnitas with him. Hard yeah, yeah, yeah. Hard I got hard. moist pork with him, man. Welcome back to the show, Juju, Juju, Juicy Johnson. God, I'm, I'm, I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to tout, but um, we're really helping you out, huh? You're, you're really. You're <laughs> I don't want to tout, but I think you're touting. Yeah, yeah. I'm tout. I'll, let me tout a little bit. Tout, yeah. He be touting. Now you started off with thirteen thousand. You know, followers on Instagram, which is pr- pretty noble. What are we talking right now? Right. Now she's at 43.9. That's really And good. let me say this. If our fans don't get her to 100 by the end of the year, we're stopping the show. Yeah. <laughs> we'll quit the show. Yeah. It'll yeah. be good friends. It'll be, it'll, it'll be yeah. good for, with Rick Glassman and Eric Griffin. And it's not, <laughs> and it won't be a good show. It won't be a good show. Well, they won't talk to each other the whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, let me say something. So we got the 44 almost, right? Yeah. And then um, you're going to open for Andrew? Yes. We're going to be doing Salt Lake City together. Yeah. Jetski said yes over the phone. September 9 and 10, we're doing four shows, two Friday, two Saturday. Salt Lake City, come see me and your boo, woo, woo, Jetski Juicy Johnson. And what else happened? I got a commercial agent. Thank thanks you. Thanks to Bobby. No, I didn't do it. You know, he called yes, me. You did. He called me and he told me. <laughs> he was like, I think I'm going to get her a commercial agent. Yeah. I was like, really? I was like, how are you going to do that? And he goes, I, I have my ways. And then he hung up the phone. Like a creepy little Asian oracle. <laughs> yeah. But it worked. I blew him. Your phone. Fo- I oh. gave <laughs> Lawrence Hart a blowjob for you to get in. Really? Yeah, yeah. When- I-, I was on the casting couch for you. If you could pick any commercial to go out for right now, what, what campaign would you want to do? Um, Bad Friends. <laughs> no, a, no, 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 a real one. Like a real one. Commercial. A national? Yeah. Um, what about like um, Verizon? Think of Verizon. You oh, could be the new guy. I want to do like a, a car commercial. Oh, which kind of what car company? I would do like a like it'd be sick to do like a Lamborghini or like Ooh, a sports oh, car. I've never, well, let's, literally, I've never seen it. But let's do let's do <laughs> the Lamborghini. Pitch, yeah, they don't do car, car commercials. Uh, but pitch me a pitch me a Lamborghini. Go ahead. Let's see. Well, I think the commercial. Let's set up the commercial scenario. Okay, the no, scenario. No, no, she has to set it up. If she wants this that bad, you got to tell me what what it is. Okay, I'm the valet driver. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I have experience doing that, so okay. I could okay. fit the role. Uh-huh. And uh, and uh, you you uh, play the rich guy. Okay. And so you toss me your what keys. What am I? I'm not in the commercial. You're my boss. <laughs> And so you're like, park the cars. Oh, I'm just, another valet driver. You know, you treat me like shit. Well, I'm another valet driver. Just let's get that clear. Am I you run va- the valet. Yeah. You uh, run which the is whole me, thing. Which means I'm another valet driver. No, you no. own it. Yeah, yeah but they always do the <laughs> car parking too. I know, but you know. I'll you, be the guy. You be the rich guy. Fine. I'll be the, va- <laughs> I'll be the Mexican valet driver. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Hey. Hey, it's your turn. All right, I got this. All right. Hey, uh, how you doing? Good, good. Is this uh, is this valet for the foot spa? Yep. <laughs> Just leave your keys in the car, and uh, he'll Here. show you to the foot Take spa. Take it. I got it. Thank you. <laughs> this what? is a Jeep. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Let's start over. <laughs> start over. <laughs> yeah. I forgot yeah. we're acting. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you broke this one. I got it, Captain. Hey, is this the valet for Yoshinoya? Sure is. Sick. Leave her close. Got it. And then I go, <laughs> this is the commercial. I go, hey, where are you going? And she's just driving into the sunset with, and then Lamborghini. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Lamborghini. Yeah. Ini. What's it called? Lamborghini. Lamborghinis. <laughs> but you have to say it Italian. Lamborghini. 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 Try to do Italian. Lamborghini. Lamborghini. Do yeah, this Lamborghini. Is... Lamborghini. 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 You know? <laughs> Good enough to steal. Lamborghini. Good enough to steal. Good enough to steal. It's to steal. Have you ever wanted to steal a That's car? That's a good commercial. Right? Right. Good enough to steal. We're all in it. We all get a Lamborghini. Do we all get a Lamborghini? Yeah, I, it's my commercial, yeah. 
Pull what, that mic whoa. close to your face. I can't hear you. I keep slipping. <laughs> <laughs> I did tell Bobby real quick when I booked my first commercial, I'm taking you guys out to steak dinner. So. Oh, uh, seriously? Yeah. It yeah, but which my one? Honor. Uh, I'll, I'll have to pick it based on the commercial. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 so we, we we could be going to fucking Ruth Chris. We could we, we're probably Ruth going Chris. To, let me tell you something. We're going to Outback Steakhouse, yeah. and that's a fact. Yeah, yeah. Out, so Outback. Okay, so um, you know what? It's, I I found a different maybe nickname for you. Whoa. Because I think you you have a Diane Keaton kind of energy. Yeah, you said that. Yeah. So what about this, La Di Da? Mm. Oh, I love. I like that one a lot. La-dee-da. Yeah, la-dee-da. That is so good. Bob. You like it or not? Yeah, no, I really do. Yeah. Look at little la-dee-da over la-dee-da. there. La-dee-da. <laughs> I like that one a lot. It's, yeah, it's, I'm yeah. still going to call you Juicy. Yeah, me too. That's for the record. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. But la-dee-da is going to exist. Yeah, la-dee-da. That's really, that's really thoughtful and cool. Thanks. Juicy by la-dee-da. <laughs> my... La-dee-da yeah, by, by Juicy. juicy. Hey, I like that. Have you guys ever thought of getting a fragrance? Because I wonder what your fragrance was. Oh, do I, I'm working on one with uh, H3. Do you know that? No, With Ethan Klein? Yeah. They have a fragrance thing? Yeah. They do? Yeah. What's yours going to smell like? What, uh, can I tell you what it's called first? One, two, three. Noodles. <laughs> no? No. <laughs> do noodles have a smell? Noodles smell delicious. Are you out of your mind? Yeah, I've never smelled a noodle, though. I eat them. You've never smelled noodles? You smell them first and then eat them? Yes, the steam that's wafting off of noodles when they're cooked is so two good. Two things I don't smell. Rice, steamed rice, or noodles. Yeah, no. Because you just inhale them. So <laughs> let me explain to you. <laughs> No, 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 no. That's how you eat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me explain. Why is the slurping such a big deal in Asia? It's a huge deal. It, <laughs> it's, the, it's so gross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate it. You just see when they suck dick. <laughs> what do, what they do they do? <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, it's like, like it's a, a large slurp. Like it's a gogurt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Slurping and belching during a meal are acceptable as long as these are considered Let tributes me, to the quality of the food. Right, but the slurping is so gross. So, so if I was going to ask you to describe the smell of a noodle, <laughs> please do. Okay. Yeah. Uh, ready? I've been. Crested, crested sunshine laying over a tiny hill as wheat waves in the wind. My wife, my son, my dog, and my friend... Walk slowly through a field. What the fuck is a Hemingway eating sunflower? It's a Hemingway seeds. novel. Yeah. No, I want. What the, the fuck does it smell? I don't get. That's no- what it smells like in my fucking head. No, if you were gonna describe a smell, a, an alien race comes down. <laughs> Beep up. What do noodles smell like? Asian fingers. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, and that's to the point. Well, so there my, you my go. cologne is called Bird Flu. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> no, it is. So it comes in a a blue bird bottle, uh-huh. but the bird's dead, so it's got X's on his eyes, oh. right? And the <laughs> smell is going to be lychee fruit and some woodsy smell, like a oak. Oh, I like that. Like a woodsy lychee f- f- kind of fruit. Okay. Yeah. I can't wait to smell it. It's going to be great. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah, what's your cologne? What would mine be called? Yeah, and what would it smell like? My cologne would be called um, Cirrhosis, <laughs> and it would smell like whiskey. And what does a, a bottle look like? Huh? I'm I'm at fucking Sephora, and I go to the lady. Oh, where's your Cirrhosis? <laughs> oh, which you want the summer or the winter edition? I want the summer edition. Mine Cirrhosis. Mine, cirrhosis comes in a little tombstone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and yeah. When yeah. you open the tombstone up, yeah. it ha- it has my smell in there. And it's, Whoa! And it's whiskey and the smell of skin rotting to a chair. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty good. It's nice, right? Pretty good. What's your cologne? Perfume. Uh, Parfum. Probably like Open Wound. Ooh. 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 It's I would buy Open, open wound. wound. Yeah. What does it smell what, like? What does the bottle look like first? Uh, it looks like a... Um, <laughs> a it looks like a, a glass box of tampons. And it... Very Pretty cool. good. Very pretty good. Cool. Yeah, it's, yeah. Classy. Yeah. And <laughs> it smells like uh, roses. Yeah. And menstrual blood. Oh, oh yum, 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 yum. Love. It's so funny to look over at the boys at Pete and Carlos, and they both are going, hmm. <laughs> They're nodding off. Yeah. That's the smell that people want to smell. This uh, is, this is not pussy. That's what pussy smells like to me. Roses? <laughs> roses and menstrual blood. Like a combo. The way that you don't smell noodles or rice, I don't smell pussy. I can't smell anything. You really smell nothing. Nothing. That's amazing. Nothing. What about butthole? At that, 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 I can, that, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that yeah. That I know where that, I am. Yeah, the distinct smell of butthole. Well, because you know I have distorted vision, so I know where I'm at. Once I get to the butthole, I know where I'm at. Right. Have you ever licked a butthole thinking it was the pussy? Like you went too deep down? Can I tell you something? Yeah. No. 
<laughs> Insane. Yeah, yeah, I have. You have. Yeah, because I close my eyes. <laughs> what, you, but but you but yeah. you know you know which ones on. Top. I don't know where directionally I am. Are you guys able to move them? Like our- <laughs> your butthole and your pussy? Like, yeah, can you yeah. switch them? I can't. What yeah, a yeah. trick they could play on us. Yeah, like can the uh, bat- butthole kind of go to the taint a little bit? Yeah, can it move? Yeah. Can you shift it? Fr- can there you is shift like it up? runway. There's a runway. I'm yeah. trying to do it right now. And I- <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The runway is like Hong Kong. It's got to get land-, land between the buildings. It's a tiny little runway between the butthole and the pussy. But can you just squeeze tight and? <laughs> what if you got surgery no, to make really. them neck- right, right on top of each other? What do you mean? If they cut out the taint and made it clo- even closer. I wouldn't want that. No, you know how funny it is? No, that's still, it's the... <laughs> you wouldn't like to do that? I, uh, number one. <laughs> what is that? It's yeah, like, it's I, like, I would hate to be your roommate. Fuck them all. It's is like he, is he popping Fuck. popcorn? <laughs> this, it's movie night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I wouldn't want that. You wouldn't want it? it? It's just two smells... You know, be too close together. It would create a a singular smell. Yeah, imagine if they blended and they blended well, much like bird flu. What if the smell of lychee and the woods is similar to? But we tested vagina? the smell already. This is a real clinical thing. We're doing it. <laughs> but why call it bird flu? I just think it's funny. You know what I mean? It's but gonna what, sell. It, it might will? smell. You yeah. know it's, oh, gonna, yeah, it's sell. gonna smell. Sell. But what I'm saying <laughs> is that we don't know what the combination of smell is going to do. So I'd rather get the smell smell at first and then get the operation. You don't want to get the operation before you know what it smells like. I you- think put the cart before the horse. I think we figured we, – we, I think you, you put the fucking operation into play and hope that thing smells good. And if it doesn't, what happens? Big fucking deal. Then you move on with your life. Oops. <laughs> oops. Then you'll <laughs> yeah, call yeah, it yeah, oops. Yeah, 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 and it yeah. might sell more. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Do you have a car freshener in your car? No. But I want to get one because I had it in and out today uh, with Daniel. We ate in the car, and it, my car smelled really bad on the what way. What was here. your order? Uh, this the number two combo. Number two is a double double. <laughs> no onions. Uh, or no regular cheese. Is Daniel oh, um, jealous that you're funnier than him? <laughs> we don't talk about that. <laughs> oh my god, that's so mean. <laughs> I'm he kidding. He's very funny. It. He's he so funny. Oh, he doesn't watch the show. He's no. a funny Fuck guy. Fuck you, Daniel. <laughs> Fuck you, Daniel. <laughs> Bitch. He's a funny guy. I was just trying to be mean. So you guys had in and out in the car. You didn't want to eat it outside? We had a, a long drive back. So From where? A wedding shower in Seal Beach. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay. A wedding shower? Yeah. What does that mean? You celebrated them. Was getting... it a baby shower? I don't know the word for it. So it's their, their wedding. Well, they don't like make it up. Far away. That's what it said. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was called a wedding shower. Oh, it was? Okay. Yeah, it was, uh, it was like a celebration because we're not going to go to the wedding because it's like in another state. But so you it's... did go to a wedding. We went to oh, wedding. it's a wedding for poor people. It's a wedding for like the celebration before what? the celebration. What, Bobby? What? You're right. It is <laughs> true, though. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's for your poor friends. That it's can't for go your to poor the friends. Thing. Yeah, like me. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I get it. Yeah. So they go, hey, <laughs> just realized what where I is went the to today? <laughs> where is the wedding at? Uh, another state. I don't know. You don't give a shit. You already did this. Did you give them a gift? Yeah, on the registry. I'm gonna. I have it yet. Well, uh, you have a year. <laughs> yeah, I have, I have time. What do you think you're planning on getting them? I'm. I don't know. I go on the registry and I'm just gonna find. The like, cheapest thing. Y- no, the coolest thing. Like I saw like ceramic bowls, but I'm like, that seems like a boring gift, but they put it on the registry, so they must want it. I think people How sometimes much is put it? stuff on a registry because they think they're 40. supposed to. Yeah. How much is it? 40 bucks. Great. They get it. it. Get done. That. That's yeah, it. They'll love like, it. The What's the most expensive thing on the registry? I don't know. Do you I, have it available for us to look at? Oh, I could send you the link, but I have to get my phone. Because <laughs> it's, it's I kind of want to look at it, and I think we should buy them the most expensive thing on there. That would yeah. be awesome. That'd be cool. For her. And we buy it? Yeah. Let that me think be... about it. We're going to buy it. I don't know them. <laughs> if ceramic bowls are $40, Dude, I, I don't think their fucking registry is that I know. Expensive. Can I just say something? With Eric Griffin, I still haven't bought anything. <laughs> and can I say something? I probably not. You know why? Why? We went to the wedding. Oh, that's true. We went all the way there. Yeah, yeah, that's true. If I'm going to go all the way to your wedding, where were, where were we? I don't... I, Nowhere. Honestly, I have no we were idea. nowhere. I have no idea. Where <laughs> yeah, we yeah, were. yeah. It was like Gardens of the Galaxy. We nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> if we went all the way there, yeah, that was our gift. Um, go back to that that's page. What, real that's what. That's exactly where. That's where his Eric wedding, was. wedding was. Yeah, yeah nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> go to that other page real fast. So look at this. Erecto vaginal fis- fistula is an abnormal connection between the lower portion of your large intestine and your rectum and your vagina. Look at this. Bowel contents leak through the fistula, allowing gas or stool to pass through your vagina. You can actually poop out of your puss. I mean, it has been a dream. <laughs> yeah. I, I feel bad with women that have Crohn's disease. Why? Because sometimes they, they, they get poo in their b- pussies. Well, that's what that was. I know. Well, what about men who have Crohn's disease? 
They don't have pussies. They have. It's in the dick. <laughs> they can poop on their penis. I bet. Inside. <laughs> Does it come out? What if your dude, dude? If your wiener could fart, how? Uh, you wouldn't fart? hear it. The hole's too small. <laughs> no, it'd be like it, it'd be like this. <laughs> yeah. Mine would go. Mine would go. <laughs> Mine would go. <laughs> There'd be juice. <laughs> Wedding wedding registries are absolutely oh, yeah, yeah. insane. They're insane. In, inappropriate. But we're going to buy the most expensive thing on here. We're going to do it. But it's cool. What, what, if I ever get married, I'm going to get married in a place where people can't afford to go so they don't go. I'll go. Wherever the I know. That's right. Like, I know you'll go. Yeah. Right? But she won't go. No. And I'll, and I'll still. What if we fly her? No. I'll fly you. Please too. don't invite her. Don't, I'll fly, don't you. fly her. I'm going to fly her. No, because I'm going to do one of those fucking shower weddings. Oh. Uh, at the belly room. Okay, good. That's yeah, right. I'll, do, I'll do a shower <laughs> wedding at the belly room. One okay. night, I'm already there, right? And yeah. I go, yay. You know what I mean? Do a spot, go upstairs. Yeah, go. I'll just do one yay, and then they'll clap, and then I'm out. Do you want to tell me what you called me about last night in the middle of the night? You don't have to say it. What was it? What? Who I don't gave, remember. Who gave you a gift last night? Oh, I could say it. Let's talk about it, because Bobby called me. We both had sets back to back at the store. By the way, I yeah, yeah, I just say it. Hold on, let me set this up. Yeah, I will say, and I mean this. Uh, yeah, you know, we're gonna look back. I'm being. Can I be genuine for two minutes? Yeah, we're gonna look back in a decade, and we're gonna go, man. Remember how fun it was those nights at the store when I would bring you on or you'd bring me on. Yeah, and I'm I'm being genuine when I, when I say this. I mean this from my heart. Yeah. It's the most fun I've ever had in my life as a comedian is when you and I are having fun and we bring each other on yeah. and the energy is good and the show is good. And I mean it. You're going to look back when you're fucking old and done and you're going to go, that was the time of our life. <sighs> I'm serious. I mean I, it. I, here's why I said what I said, though. All right. Is is that I don't know why, but it's always me after you. And you always kill so hard. You're one of the best comics. But you kill so hard, and then what you do is you play trickery on stage. No. Yeah, yeah, you do. No. I bring you on. I say no. You don't. No, you don't. You do this shit. You say my name, right? And then you'll pretend to leave. Yeah. You'll go in the audience. Yeah. While I'm telling my jokes. You're still like in the getting, audience. audience, standing up, getting claps for yourself. I got to shake the Th fans' hands. I know. Then you come back up on stage. Sometimes and get... they want me back up there. I know. And I don't like it. Well, I'm going to keep doing it. <laughs> because okay, it, means all right. it means the world to all me. All right. If it gives you I'm sharing joy... the stage with my best friend. So sue me. I'm having a blast. If it gives you joy, then do it. You know how people run the light at the Oscars and they play the music and all that I shit? I don't like it. I love it. <laughs> you do? Fuck, the, fuck them. Fuck the time. Fuck you. By the way. You, oh, they play off music? No, let me say in my shit until let I'm done. Let me say, though. This is my moment in the sun. But you have to understand this, all right? If you look at the lineup, right? It's hard hitters before me. It's a sold-out room. It's packed in yeah. the main room, yeah. right? And it's like, you guys are killing, and I, I just kind of want to go up and do the same. You know what I mean? But then I have to deal with other elements. I don't me. like that. Yeah, you. But I help you. A lot of times, they laugh. I don't it. think it's a help. They laugh. <laughs> For you. They laugh with us. Okay. If I'll, you say so. I'll, so let's say about the... What did I do last night? Well, because I begged you on my hands and knees. I, but what did I say? I said, it's my, He's my best my, friend. My best friend on earth. And you left. And, and, Bobby and Lee. that was perfect. I bowed and I walked away. Why'd you bow? Yeah, you did it. I bowed. It's racist. How? Because now I bowed. You, well, yeah. I know. <laughs> he bowed first. And I'm like, in front of a packed room. And I go, I'm going to have to bow. Yeah, is bowing racist? I don't think so. Look that up. How is that? That's a sign of respect. <laughs> Nothing even came up. Yes. Yeah, oh, nothing came up. All right, so bow then. Fine. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but don't do the gong like you did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> First of all. The gong is too much. They loved it. <laughs> I know. But then you grab the mic in the back and go, I don't like that. That's your calling card. It's, it's like, true. It is a thing. You know how they put Batman symbol in the sky? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When that. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. It's almost uh, if you float down all right. out of thin air. That's your Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Okay, so. um. Should we talk about what happened, the bizarre thing that happened last night? Yeah, so you called me on the phone to talk about the spot. All right, so um, I don't know how to, I'll just say it, I don't know how to get into it, but. um, It's a good thing. It's a great thing. Yeah. And I'm, I almost, cr I cried almost. I know, you got emotional on the phone. I got emotional. So what happened was, I show up at the store and a bunch of people come up to me and goes, Leslie Jones is looking for you. So I go, um, because I, I let me just say this beforehand, um. I've known her 
for a very long time. I've had a deep relationship with her. I love her so much. Same. I'm so happy for her success. She's such a great performer and a great actress. What whatever. So what and, whatever. So funny to be like so genuine. What whatever. <laughs> I didn't know what word to use. That's fine. Okay. Whatevs. Whatevs. Uh, is that better? Yeah. yeah. So she, they go. She's looking for you, and I'm like, I think I'm in trouble already, right? Because I have to, I, f- I felt some friction in the last year. Between you and her? Yeah. Yeah. I felt some friction in the last year, and I didn't know where it was coming from, and um, it kind of hurt me, you know? When I would see her, we wouldn't lock eyes. We'd avoid each other, you know? And I, I was just like, well, this is fucking weird, but it is what it is. So last night, she comes up to me, and she gives me a bottle of wine. I, you know, I don't, she doesn't know I'm sober, but, mm-hmm. and she gave me a letter. And the letter read something to, to the effect of, I have it in my house. Um, Thank you for supporting me over the years. I love you. Um, and it's just something about, I'm glad you're in my life and all that stuff. And um, she gave me some money. There was a check, right? <laughs> yeah. That's Which crazy. I'm not going to. You don't need to talk about it. Yeah, I'm not going to. But uh, it's pr- but she was. I'm not going to cash you, it in. But she, she was thanking you. I'm going to frame, actually, the, the letter and the, and the, and check. the check. Yeah. You can always cash. No, nah, I'm not gonna. Just cash it and then take it. Say, can I have it back? No, 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 it's fine. But I just that 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 moment was like, and she kissed me on the cheek. I nearly almost cried, and I um, you know, I I could see her trying to um. Change. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's going. She's going through, but it really meant a lot to me. Well, it's great. Maybe she's been. Maybe the time when you thought she was being weird, she was going through something else, and you didn't know. We don't know what people go through. That's right. You know what I mean? But it was a really nice gesture, and um, I just that's why I called you. Shout out to Les. Yeah. Shout out to Leslie. Her. She's the best. She's always had a crush on me. <clears throat> really? Yeah. Ask her. I can't imagine that. Her and I. Yeah. What are you talking about? She would tell. Be top. She'd be top. We'd we we no roll, no no there's, no there's no rolling around. We'd roll around. She's top. We'd roll around. Yeah, and you're on your stomach. Cute. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine? She's pulling me from the back. Yeah, and there's tears. It's called the doorbell. Yeah, yeah. From yeah, the yeah. back, and then, oh, I'm crying. Oh, you're crying for sure. Well, and yeah, then yeah. you know what? One day we'll get married, and then her and I will have a registry, and you'll have to buy the most expensive thing that I put on there. And now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp is an amazing um, service because I use it and it's online therapy. It's the best in the business. Um, if you're going through a hard time, you're sad, you know what I mean? You think life isn't working out, you have some mental problems. I'm telling you right now, this BetterHelp can change your life. It can be tough to your it can be tough to train your brain to stay in problem-solving mode when faced with a challenge in life. But when you learn how to find your own solutions, there's no better feeling. Well, here's the deal. I love it. Bob and I are big mental health uh, help advocates, and uh, uh, BetterHelp does just that. You can you can do it conveniently uh, from the comfort of your own home. It's accessible, affordable, and it's entirely done online. So if you're thinking about therapy, I think giving BetterHelp a try. It's a great option, and uh, it's uh, cheaper than traditional uh, offline therapy. Yeah. When you want to be a better problem solver, therapy can get you there. Visit BetterHelp.com. Slash bad friends today to get 10% off your first month. That's better H E L P dot com slash bad friends. Hello, Fresh. With Hello, Fresh, you get farm fresh pre portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on Hello, Fresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. Hey, man, gear up for the busy fall season that's ahead of you with 55 plus weekly options and take the stress out of meal plan- planning and prepping from family friendly to fit and wholesome and even veggie meals. Hello, Fresh has tasty and nutritious meals sure to please everyone in your house. It, it makes me proud when I get the ingredients for HelloFresh and I can, I'm can i able to cook it up yeah. and, and do a meal. It's it, so easy to it's do. It's easy to do, but also makes you feel accomplished. And when you eat the food, it's like restaurant quality. It's really a great experience. And now you can enjoy more variety than ever with Hello Custom. See, check this out. You can swap out one My of the Lord. protein sides for another one. You can upgrade for a more luxe experience or even... Add protein, because you love protein, to a veggie meal. Carbs, too. That means more choices, more variety, and more meals truly tailored to you and your family. It's 72% cheaper than dining at a restaurant. It's even cheaper than going to the grocery store. Go to HelloFresh.com slash BadFriends16 and use code 
Bad Friends 16 for 16 free meals across seven boxes and three free gifts. Did you listen to what he just said? He said go to HelloFresh.com slash Bad Friends 16 and use that code Bad Friends 16 for 16 free meals across seven boxes and three free gifts. HelloFresh, America's number, number one, one meal, meal kit. kit. Oh, I can't imagine what your register is going to be. When, her, when me and Leslie Jones get married? Yeah, I can't imagine it. What would it be? I don't want to go there because... Um, yeah, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean that's a trick question well yeah, let's yeah. look at this registry right, we obviously can't show the photos All right, so of these I, fucking I think people. I've or, seen that guy before well, we're not going to show the picture or the say their names uh, okay let's see what they got though oh when it says sort by do most expensive price high to low whoa yeah, yeah. I didn't even go there <laughs> sort by price high to low all right. Here we go. $600. What is that? Oklahoma Let's Joe's. Let's get over the first thing, whatever that thing is. Highland Reserve Flow. It's a, it is a, it's a, he It wants looks like a fantastic meth lab. <laughs> 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 like a high tech lab. Doesn't that look like a high tech meth lab? <laughs> you know what, Bobby? Because of your love of animals, you should get the Litter Robot 3 Connect. That's that a cat. Insane. It's like a cat house. Oh, let's get that. What is it? It's a cat. It's for the litter. Or there's, there's, they want a three ply stainless steel cookware set. Huge. Yeah. They want travel bags, obviously, because they want to travel. They need two of them. Uh, they and then it's clo and then it's uh, then it's always furniture. It's always furniture. It's always furniture. So let's yeah. go back to the top one because Bobby's interested in that. So do you want to buy the six hundred dollar Oklahoma Joe's Highland Reserve Flow eight hundred seventy nine square inch black horizontal? Well, since I don't don't know them at all, let's get to the second thing. You want to get them the cat? Yeah, because I like cats. Okay, buy oh. now. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, let's buy that. That's cool. But this is from you. Yeah. So how are we gonna do it? Are but we gonna it's... use our credit card? Yeah. Okay. She lis they listen to this podcast. Okay, there we go. Oh, well, then fuck, they're going to know what they're going to yeah, get then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's exciting. That exciting. is exciting. It's exciting. Do they need like a mat or anything like that? All right, Carlos, slow the fuck down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Carlos. Yeah. He, he's like, they want the super one, right? The the oversized? <laughs> what color do they want? They didn't say, huh? Litter robot. Let's yeah. get the black. Yeah. yeah. The black is cool. Yeah, yeah, the black one looks tight. That looks dope. Oh, it's gray? Mm -hmm. Whatever it is. Get that. Are they big cat people? They must be with the litter box like that. Yeah, that's they, a they, sick litter box. That's, that's almost a, unnecessary, but I like it. I like it a lot. It's like from Star Wars. Yeah. Whoa, look at that. That look does look that. like a Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. I have cat poop in me. <laughs> <laughs> it tells you. I yeah. have cat poop in me. Yeah. It that, almost as if they wouldn't know to go in there. Well, yeah, it looks a little deceiving. Yeah, and it looks a little ominous. Can you imagine? We pay $600 for this thing, and the cat that never uses it? They'll never use it. No. Is that a bad idea? What if we get in the barbecue? The barbecue. Does it come with the white girl? I'd buy it then. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, imagine if see. you got that white girl. That'd be great. Go to details. Scroll over to the right. It says, to the right there, It's go up. It says, uh, stop scooping cat litter forever while giving your kitty a clean bed of litter for ev for each use. A better litter box for everyone. White girl not included. Wow, there it is. Uh, I guess they don't. she doesn't come. Oh, the white. Oh, fuck. They're just saying white girls can use it too. Can uh, they though? She's waiting to get in. Oh, she's next. Yeah, she's. Oh, that she's waiting. <laughs> Is that what she's taking a picture? She's like, get out of my house, bitch. <laughs> she does look upset. <laughs> Scoot over, bitch. <laughs> and so she's she's sitting like that. She's holding in a shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. White girls always sit like that. Oh, they do. Yeah, and yeah, what is yeah. that called? You know. Crisscross applesauce. Crisscross applesauce. <laughs> yeah. We used to call it Indian style. You can't say that anymore. Why not? Well. It, no, 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 no. Let's, let's let's address that. Okay. I'm continuing to say Indian style. You're on a show about Native Americans. Okay, crisscross. <laughs> 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 yeah, crisscross. Indian that... style. Look, that was a way to sit on the floor with legs crossed. Now a popular phrase used is crisscross applesauce. Indian style is considered offensive in 2021. Well, 2022, so I guess it's not offensive anymore. <laughs> but, right. but, but, uh, no, but Indian style, but let me just say, though, it's not like, it, it's, it's not a term that's making fun of them, though. It's just a cool way of sitting. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, you know, if like, you know, sitting like like I was just you know, you know how Asians like to <laughs> break everything? Yeah. You know how Asians like to sit like this? Well, you crouch. Yeah, yeah. Asians love to crouch. If they, if they called this Asian style, I wouldn't be offended. That sounds awesome. That Asian it, style? Asian style, but see, but Asian style has been used to describe like a version of food. Like yeah. it's good, like ooh, and, and like like a Buffalo Wild Wings is like Asian style. That's like a cool thing to have. Oh, so you, back in the day, you think natives, like in, Indian style, was a way that people killed them? Like let's kill them natives, Indian style. What if they made them get? What if they made them sit down, crisscross applesauce while they killed them? Oh yeah, oh, then okay. See, crisscross applesauce. See, you got to think about it. Crisscross applesauce is so long, but okay, I'll Criss -cross do it. Crisscross applesauce. What's a quicker way to say cross-legged? Crisscross. But crisscross was a great group. We don't know. Oh, that's, that's right. A my, my bad. Group my, that yeah, you're yeah, referring yeah, to. yeah, yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? Are those prescription? Yes. Wow, that's cool. 
Yeah. So you, do you wear contacts ever or no? No. Oh, just those. I just wear these. I, I love these glasses, but someday I'm going to have to. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean? Get LASIK? I get no, like I get really attached to things. I don't know if you guys get like that. Like these shoes I got right when I started working at the store, and I'm gonna wear them out. Same with these glasses. Like That's I'll wear love. them until they fall off my face. Mm. I don't get attached to stuff. You do a little bit. Oh, I get romantically involved. Yeah, you like <laughs> stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I get like there's like there's a personal like I remember there was a car that I drove from L.A. Uh, San Diego when I moved to L.A. It was a truck, and I remember. Um, I was going. I was opening for Mencia on the road, and I parked at the airport, and it was like on its last legs. It, once I parked it, I know it's dead. That was it. That was it. So I remember being in the park, that parking lot at LAX, looking at it, and I remember weeping. Oh yeah, I relate be, to that because of all the experience I had with that fucking truck. That, that, that truck saved my fucking life. I don't have any attachment to things. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You could burn my whole house down tonight as long as nobody I loved was inside of it. I don't give a there's fuck. There's not socks or any or a pair of shoes or there's nothing. Not one. Th I'm, I mean this when I say this. Yeah. If my house caught on fire and no one I loved is inside of it. Yeah. I don't. I wouldn't even think. I would be like, what's the insurance gonna pay out? What are we gonna get? Really? I couldn't care less. What about like? What about this? What about like? A I've never had. I've never had a home. You know how you had a home? I broke my mom's heart one time when I said my our house uh, doesn't feel like a home. It feels like a house. Mm. And she fucking couldn't believe, because I I've never felt at home, so I just like things and places. I don't uh, time I really cherish. Yeah, moments of time. I'm super. Um, what's that word uh, when you get sentimental about the past or the moments in time? Um, nostalgic. Nostalgic. <laughs> super nostalgic, dude. But honestly, I don't know. I just don't like. You grew up in a home. Your home. In yeah, San but Diego. there's things that mean stuff. Like for yeah. instance. I was at an AA meeting once, right? And yeah, this old timer, once. no, a million times, but this old timer, his name is Chris, he got his birthday cake and he had like 40 years of sobriety, right? And I was a newcomer, mm -hmm. right? And he, and, he, and, he, and he took a candle off of the cake and he gave it to me. And he goes, this candle is yours. I hope you stay sober. And I put that candle in my pocket. I still have that candle. Didn't stay sober though. That's true. It didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Guy's got to make it a better did, wish. Yeah, yeah, it didn't work, but I still have the candle because I know what it you means mean. so much to me. I know what you mean. In yeah. fact, okay, okay. So I, I have small things like that, but they're very rare. Like, um, my dad gave me st a stone. Are uh, you being real? I swear to God. Yeah. A little tiny stone. He gave one to me and my sister one year for some reason, and he had some great limerick behind it. But I just liked it a lot, and I kept it in my pocket for every time I did stand up for years and years. Where's the stone? It's gone. <laughs> where is where is it? I threw it away. I got tired of it. Andrew. Oh, so you don't have it? No, I do have it. It's in my desk drawer. Check in, this in my house. out. Yeah. I got a dragonfly from my mom in my pocket. Look at that. And I bring it on stage or anywhere I go. Like, uh, it's a similar. Sweet. So if I stole that, that would <laughs> bum you out. She'd yeah. fight you. It's weird. Like I can detach, but I do like hold. Yeah. Like, I like having this. No, yeah. I like this. The stone is in my desk drawer in my house. It sits in my desk and it's in the very front of it. I know where it is. I just <clears throat> it's very rare. Can it's I, just very rare that I have those things. Can I tell you the, the most precious thing I have? Me? No, aside from that. Um, <laughs> Do you, roll, you roll your eyes. Yeah. I, you don't think I'm one of the most precious things in your life? <laughs> no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Are you fucking serious? I, I enjoy it. You enjoy me? Yeah, I enjoy you. You don't yeah. think I bring uh, ultimate levels of joy and, and nuance and comedy and I love? believe you meet certain people at certain times for certain reasons. Mm -hmm. And you're a part of that. God bless. Schematic. Okay. So R give me what's precious to you. Okay. So 20 years ago, my mom, she was in tears. And she goes, in Korean, she said, basically, I can't speak English that well, right? And I don't know how to write in English, right? And I, I, I've never been expressed to, to you how I felt about you, right? But I wrote it in Korean, and when I die, get it translated. It's a two-page letter written in Korean. Do you have it? I have it in my house, <clears throat> and I haven't gotten a translate because he's obviously still alive. But I'm, I, I'm, 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 I will get it translated. Can I tell you something? What? <clears throat> what if it said, fuck you? <laughs> <laughs> You're the worst. Yeah, yeah. I really think in my heart, Yeah. you should never translate it. But just get it framed. Why? Because there's something great about the unknown. It's almost like you'll. It's like the chase is better than the kill. It's like the idea of not knowing means more than knowing for some reason. Like you'll know what it means by the feeling you have for it. 
more so than the direct translation because look what happens look what happens in english dear bobby i'm gone now take care uh of stevie <laughs> goodbye and in korean you know yeah. bobby it... <laughs> so it doesn't sound as pretty <laughs> Right, it would be the reverse though, but yeah, you're right. It just doesn't sound as pretty. Right. So, and you know it's going to be because there's because we're lost in translation will happen with Korean to English. Yeah. So it'll read so weird. It'll re yeah, you're right. It won't have miss the you. Same I mean. will, Bobby Sun Mine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it'll just be fucking annoying. <laughs> yeah, you're right. So I think don't get a translate. I'll put it. I'll in, frame it. Frame it. Yeah. And let it live in your house for the rest of your life. Oh my god. Yeah. Do you have anything like that? No, I I don't have nothing like that. I know when my dad um had to take care of his dad's funeral uh and everything, it was so messy that he's like given me his card to his financial. He's like when when I when I die, just call this guy. He's got like the business card. He's oh like, right. I don't want it to be a mess for you. Um, oh wow! So he has it all taken care of. That's what he says. I don't. Yeah, I'm like, why? He constantly tells me, I'll, like, I'll be fine when he's dead. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to think Jesus. about that. <laughs> I know, we, we, but it's because his dad left him with such a mess to like take care of. Oh, yeah. see, that's not fair. Will he leave money? You think? He tells me all the time, like, yeah, like uh, that he's going to leave me a bunch of money and stuff. Oh, but, how but much do you think? How much do you think? I have no idea. His, Is he rich? I think so, but he's so frugal that like. I have no. He was a rocket scientist. He's retired. Oh now, wow! So he's yeah, yeah. got to have a lot of money. But like, he didn't want to go to a show in North Carolina because he was worried about the two drink minimum. But I think that Whoa. was. <laughs> I think that was more about the principle. Right. But, because it's like no one tells me to drink two drinks. I'm drinking four, but you don't tell me to drink two. Yeah. yeah. That's how people at the store are. They're like, "Why is there a two drink minimum?" And you're like, y "You had seven drinks." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck are you? T you I mean, what are you talking about? Yeah. You were gonna get wasted anyway. And also, oh, I don't drink. Fine. Then you just buy two waters or whatever. And or tip or when you put somebody on the list and they ask that, bro. Dude, I had oh, friends. Yeah, I put them on the list, and then they go, "Why do we have to take two drinks?" I go, "You, this is a thirty dollar ticket, bitch." Well, you know what I do? Yeah. You know what I do now to not deal with that anymore? What? I usually tell the tell the servers. Yeah. I say, hey. You know, a comics tab, like give the comics discount because they're my table and just put it on my credit card. Yep. Well, that's what you do. Yeah, because I don't want to fucking deal with it. Same. Yeah, yeah. And so that way, when they're drunk and annoying, I can be like, go, get you guys you have to, okay, t you leave now. Or, or, oh, yeah. Or, or the worst is you get a call, me plus one. And then right before you go on, we're here, but it's 15 other people. Yeah, no. Yeah, fuck yeah. That. And then you're like, what? You don't get in. Yeah. You don't know, get then in. Then I have to go to the fucking cover Not booth. Me. What's It's sold out, but what can we do? It's so annoying. It's so annoying. By the way, we had some guests the last one. I saw, you know, Rec was there with Dumbfounded. Oh, yeah. Who's Rec? Oh, you don't know. Uh-uh. That was who was with me in Beef, who played with me in Beef. He was with Dumbfounded. Did you meet, did you go say hi to them? I did. So that was the guy that replaced me on Beef? He didn't replace you. <laughs> My he, enemy? He played you. He, he pl <laughs> no. Was that him? That was Rec. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm glad I had a good set. He's the fucking man. <laughs> no, I wanted to show him. He's not a stand-up. It doesn't matter. He I had to show him. First of all, he loves you. I had to show him. Okay, he loves you. I know. And, and Why can't I show, though? You can show how good you are. You're a great comic. Yeah, Everybody yeah, fucking knows. That's yeah, why he went to see you. Yeah, yeah. He thinks you're incredible. Did I shake his hand? I didn't. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. I kind of gave him a pound and I walked by. Such a grudge. I love it. You hold a grudge. I love it. Well, that's my energy. Is it? It's what keeps me up. <laughs> it, it's what keeps me going. <laughs> is that energy? It's like me. I'll show you. I'll show you. Yeah, yeah. I'll show you. What happens when you run out of people to show? Oh, I make them up. <laughs> <laughs> I make up. Pe I make up people. I really do. I'll go. Who's the guy? You know, countless studies have shown. Yeah. Holding grudges and keeping negative feelings is bad for your mental health. Oh. <sighs> I know. You know what's going to happen to you? What? You're going to have a psychotic break. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Uh, let me ask you something. <laughs> Let's be real. Because okay. you, you have your ear in the, the local comedy scene, especially at the store, right? Sure, yeah. Yeah, so I in terms of, do you think people think that I'm going to have a psychotic break, that I'm <laughs> Bobby Lee's like, you know, manic and he's on the edge? Everyone I've heard says that you're like getting shit together. Finally. But I will yeah. say it before this podcast, you did approach me on the stairs outside and said, "Tonight's the night I get murdered." <laughs> Jesus! <Christ. laughs> and then you like jokingly jabbed your keys at me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, when did I say that? Just before twenty-five we came minutes in, ago. Right before <laughs> Andrew pulled up, and I was like, "Thank God he just pulled up." <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh yeah, I did do that. <laughs> yeah, I go tonight, tonight you get murdered. And I grab the the, yeah. the keys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Jerry's still did you really out. think that if Andrew didn't show up, that you would be murdered? <laughs> no. Yeah, but... I wasn't gonna hurt you. No, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know. Yeah. It's so it, it's so <laughs> interesting that you would even bring that. You would even bring that up. What? Yeah. Wait, it's yeah. weird she would bring it up. Yeah. We just talked about you having a psychotic break. It makes perfect sense. Yeah, and you said be honest, be real. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay, my bad. And yeah. she is honest and real. That's What's Andrew's reputation? You think? He's he's you know you hung out the other night for the first time in a long time that was cool yeah I usually just don't hang out you know what I did last night what I went to Tate's t- uh, Tate's I went to Pink Dot and I bought um you know you leave sometimes leave something for the servers yeah and I left a, a bag of Tate's blueberry chocolate chip cookies by the way you know Tate's you know Tate's cookies mm-hmm. yeah. yeah the, the p- chocolate chips are the best. They just made blueberry. Yeah. And I ate two bags this weekend. No. Like a fat piece of shit. I've never even heard of that. Dude, I like Tate's. Tate's is the best. And they have a blueberry. They just made blueberry, and I'm not kidding. Oh, my God. We got to get some for the show. Like a fat piece of shit. I ripped through it, and I got sad because when I finished the first one, I I knew I was going to get another one. Can I say something? You look fatter today. I know. You really do look pudgy or like bloated a little bit. I got swollen. I've been swollen. This weekend was a swollen weekend. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Viator. Hey, Andrew, the worst thing is when you're on a vacation yeah. and you look at your partner, whoever you're with, mm-hmm. your compadres, and yeah. you go, what do we do today? We don't know. No one planned anything? No, no one planned anything, but that's why now I have Viator. Thank God. And we have so many options. We can do almost anything You want to go bungee? I want to. You want to go flying? I do. You want to go in the ocean? I would love to. They have everything. Viator is the world's leading travel experience marketplace, offering everything from simple tours to extreme adventures with all the niche and interesting stuff in between. Look, this is why I, I love this. It, it Most of the time when I go on vacation, you don't know what to do. You don't know where to go and you don't know what you're getting into. So if you open it up and let Viator do their job, which is show you all the fun, cool, creative things that you probably didn't think of, then it's easy and it makes you kind of look cool because you're like, hey, man, I got some cool stuff planned. They got over 300,000 bookable experiences to choose from in over 190 countries. That's a lot of the world. Dude, guys, guys, listen. It's so easy. Just download the Viator app now. And use code Viator10 for 10% off your first booking in Viator's world of wonderful experiences. Viator, one site, over 300,000 experiences. You'll remember. DraftKings! Football fans! The first Sunday of the NFL season is is here. here. And DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL, is giving new customers a can't-miss offer to celebrate the return of NFL season. Right now, new customers can bet $5. Five dollars oh and get two hundred dollars in free bets instantly. As an added bonus oh for one God. week, everyone can experience the thrill of DraftKings early win promotion. It's simple: bet on an NFL team to win, like your favorite team. What's your favorite team, Bob? The Giants. The Giants. The New York Giants. You bet on the New York Giants to win. If your team wins, Bob, and leads by ten at any point during the game, you get paid instantly. Even if your team loses, who's your favorite player on the Giants? Crenshaw. Bobby Crenshaw on the Giants. You better have a game for Bobby. I Lee. love it. Uh, so look, I'm a big fan of this. If you want to get on an early early win promotion, DraftKings is uh, pass interference. Pi, you just did it to me right yep, there. You just that's interrupted. Exactly. Uh, so you just bet five dollars and you get two hundred dollars in free bets instantly. That's an amazing deal. All you have to do is download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now. Use the promo code. Yeah. Bad friends. Bad friends. To get two hundred dollars in free bets instantly when you place a five dollar bet this Sunday. Oh my god. That's code bad friends only at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details. If you or someone you know has a gambling problem, crisis counseling and referral services can be accessed by calling one eight hundred gambler, one eight hundred four two six two five three seven. 21 and older, 18 and older in New Hampshire and Wyoming, physically present in Arizona, Colorado, Connecticut, Illinois, Indiana, Louisiana, and Iowa. Select parishes, Michigan, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New York, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Tennessee, Virginia, West Virginia, and Wyoming only. New customer offer void in New Hampshire, Oregon, and uh, Ontario, Canada. $200 in free bets. New customers only, valid one per customer. I buy every single brand on Amazon sunflower seeds. Oh. Right. Every Taco Bell flavor, mm. spicy hamburger flavor, mm. right? <laughs> Flamin' Bacon, mm-hmm. right? Flamin' Bacon, so good. So fucking good. So Flamin' Bacon. Good. Cheddar Dill, oh. right? I get them all, right? But I have high blood pressure, so I'm on blood medication, like yeah, high are. blood pressure medication. And I eat so much, I can't feel my, my neck is so stiff. Oh. But I can't stop. You can. And I think I'm going to have a stroke. <laughs> so I'll keep eating. I got to get Flaming. Flaming bacon. Let's see what that flavor, right? Okay. And then I have jars of seed 
shelves, mm -hmm. just jars of it on my fucking nightstand. Uh oh, numbness yeah. in your neck. Uh, it it's it's usually caused by an issue with the spinal cord or other nerves. You're yeah, that's a spinal cord issue. I know, I know. You're having nerve damage. I'm having nerve damage from it. Okay, so if you die from eating sunflower seeds, yeah, yeah, can we make your tombstone a sunflower seed bag? How about one large sunflower seed? That's cute. Ooh. That's cute. What flavor? Asian style. <laughs> <laughs> there is no Asian style flavor. Look up. Yes, there is no, Asian no, style. We should create. You should make it. No, we should create our own flavors of sunflower seeds. Bad friend sunflower seeds. Yeah, dude. I'm being real. I'm so down. Because there's certain it. flavors they don't have. They always fuck with hamburgers. I like that one, tacos fuegos. That's a good one. You know what I mean? Yeah, tacos fuegos is good. Yeah, yeah. But like Mongolian beef. Ooh. Oh, so I imagine good. Mongolian beef. <laughs> So How about um, General Chow's chicken? Ooh. Ooh. Is it Chow or Sow? Jennifer Sow. Whatever. Jennifer Sow? Yeah, Jennifer Sow's chicken. What, a <laughs> what about like chocolate? What? Like chocolate. You know what? You know what? what? Sweet. Nah. Sweet's Sweet. going to be tough with that. No, for but some with reason. sweet and salty though, caramel. Caramel but ca caramel is better than chocolate when it comes to the sweet and salty stuff. Yeah. So caramel. How about caramel? Can we go caramel? We could go. Yeah. We could. I'll yeah. budge on that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all those flavors right now. The sunflower seeds ultimate variety pack. I think we need to get that for the studio for Bob. Yeah. Yeah. Can we do that? Let me see. Zoom but that's in on some but of those Biggs flavors. is not my. Uh, Biggs is not my favorite. No, um, Biggs is not the best. It's I not mean, the best. David is clutch, but no, yeah. No, oh. David's not even the clutch one. No, no, no. But it's it's. I'm saying it's old school. It's it's reliable. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you guys did you guys see this? Look at my face. What? Oh, did you have a stroke? No. Did you see the movie? Good, bad, and the ugly. No, no, no. It's new. <laughs> I only know this because I listen to your. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So, which, what is it? Elvis. Yeah. Did you see it? <laughs> Do it again. No, that just looks like you had a stroke. Yeah, it looks like you had a stroke. <laughs> uh, oh, Elvis. El Elvis is this. This is Liv. Uh -huh. uh -huh. yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Did you see it? No. Why? Then I won't. Why? I don't support Baz Luhrmann or whatever the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> is, it Baz, is it Baz Luhrmann? Baz Luhrmann yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. I'm kidding. What, what, you, what? I have no reason. I just don't. I don't. I don't know. I'm kidding. I just don't give a fuck about that. It was good. I'll say. I, I, I thought it was good. It, yeah, but, but is, 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 is it about his life when he gets fat and dies? Yeah. It's the whole. The whole. Thing. But they playing. show the drugs. They show the fucking. A little bit. Oh, they show it all. They show it all, baby. I want to see the gross part. Is all that? Why can't we just have the time period when he dies? Also, this guy. I've heard he was good in the movie. He was so good. I yeah. don't like the way he looks. <laughs> he was really good. Dude. He looks strange. He also doesn't look like Elvis. I mean, in the movie, there, dude, there were times where I like, uh huh. No, they're stretching yeah. so fucking hard. It's that, fine because you're not gonna find someone that looks exactly like him. But yeah, look at that. No, that looks like that looks like Elvis with plastic surgery. <laughs> it right. does. That yeah. does. It looks like fucking L.A. Elvis. Fucking, it's Elvis after he'd like yeah. lost an important role and he was like, <laughs> I'm gonna get him back. Yeah, but I thought his performance was good. I heard yeah. he did great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm never gonna see it. Wow, I love how stubborn you are. Fuck Elvis. I don't like him. He fucking stinks. I thought his shit stunk. Fuck Elvis. He stole music from black people. Fuck him. <laughs> wow, dude. I don't like him. I don't like that people love him, too. Yeah. He's a stinker pinker. Name the song that you love to listen to by Elvis. Um, what? We're suspicious, man. Yeah. Shut up. Wise man <laughs> sings. Only free fools rush it. Yeah, Trash. I love that. Okay. Ain't nothing but a hound dog. Trash. Whoa. Whoa, dude. <laughs> Crying all, all the time. time. Shut Trash. up. Trash. <laughs> 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 fuck Elvis. Fuck, all right, fuck it. Fuck Elvis. Oh, so you prefer the Beatles better? Are the Beatles better than Elvis? Yeah. It's not even a fucking conversation. All right. Of course they are. Yeah, are the Beatles? Right. The Beatles. Yeah, I just said the Beatles. <laughs> yes. Oh, they're way better. Yeah. It's not even in the same con... It's like... The Beatles, you know what the Beatles are to what? Elvis? Yeah. You, to a person who's thinking about starting comedy. No, that's so crazy. Whoa. Yes, it is. Wow. Yes, it is. No, it's not. The gap between Elvis and the Beatles is not even fucking close. Wow. How many number one hits did the fucking Beatles have? How many number one hits did fucking Elvis have? Yeah. All right. How many number one songs did the Beatles fucking but have? But he's the king of rock and roll. He was the yeah. first guy. He was the king. He was the king because time. he owned slaves. What? what? That's that why they called the him movie? that. That wasn't in the movie. He owned slaves. I didn't see he, that. No, we movie. didn't see that part of the movie. <laughs> no. Graceland? Yeah, yeah. Graceland is all, it was a slave house. Graceland, not Raceland. Yeah. No, it was Raceland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? The Beatles had 20 number one hits. Elvis had uh, 18. 18. There it is. 20 to 18. Two. That's close. No, it's not even close. <laughs> there was no one else making music around Elvis time. Yeah, but I can't, it's so funny because I can only name like maybe eight Elvis songs. You just did. You named all four. Well, you know. Yeah, yeah. But I can name 
probably 80 Beatles songs. Yeah. We could go through the old, we could go through all the Beatles albums right now and name off almost every song. Probably. You can't name shit from Elvis. Yeah, they're probably that's interesting. I'm sorry. Jail What about the Rock? Stones? What's better the Stones or the Beatles? I'm still going to side with the Beatles. I think so too. But I, I like I the just, Stones. I but... love the Stones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still yeah. going to go with the Beatles. What about you? Beatles. Yeah, Beatles again. So you what your guys are saying to me is do you think and let's say it here at that friends. The Beatles are the greatest rock band ever, period. That I, I I've always said that. Period. I've always said that yeah. people argue, no the Stones. Nope. No way. No. The Beatles, the from what uh, here, here's what it proved it to me. What the Beatles did categorically, like the the levels of fucking what they went through musically, like diff, just super different the change. sounds. The change. Yeah, they it's went nuts. with the t- yeah. They were relevant through their time. Did the Stones do that? I don't know. A little bit, they did. A little. Yeah, they did Ruby Tuesday, and then they got a little bit like Jumping Jack Flash. You know what I mean? But I just the Beatles went through such like it's just like tidal waves of of different kinds of music during different times. The Beatles are king. And, and and the Beatles have like albums that are like notoriously like good from beginning to end. Like, yeah, well, all, a, like yeah. Abbey, Abbey Road, Road. right? Yeah. I can I think Exile Main, Main Street, which is a Stones album, yeah. is pretty good from beginning to end, but I can't say that about the rest of the other albums. I just think they just the amount of bangers that those oh kids God. made is just stupid. And, yeah. and and to think, you know what's crazy? I'm sad they're not making any more albums. They're all alive and kicking around. It's like, why don't they make another album? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, they're, what are they doing? They're just hanging out. How did P- how did Pete Best live with himself? How <laughs> I would have I would have taken a fucking <laughs> shotgun muzzle into my mouth and pulled the, the trigger. I mean, that's when, the worst decision ever ever made of and anything ever. Those guys that did, ran Chernobyl, not even close, to, <laughs> not even close to what Pete Best did. Pete Best fucked up. Can you imagine? Now, I want to let people know who Pete Best is. So do, Pete you know, Be- do you know who that is? I've just figured it out in uh, context. Right, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, let me guess. Can yeah, I guess? Go, go guess, guess. He had a chance to play with the Beatles. And he-, oh, no, he, had, he was in the Beatles. He was the drummer. He was, in it? He was, he was the, the drummer. Beatles drummer, and he turned to the rest of the guys and went... I want to go not, back to I want to go back to art school. He literally was like, "It's not working out." And then they went, "Oh, we got to find something." They found Ringo, right? It's, it's not working out. He's it's not, not working he, out. It's not working. Then out. Uh, two years, oh, he could have waited. <laughs> two fucking years. They're the biggest thing on planet Earth, and he's in art school with a fucking shotgun muzzle to his mouth. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have killed myself. Do you know what's in, insane though? When you think about it, when what? you look at him, yeah. it looks like he doesn't fit. That's what's even more creepy. Yeah, yeah. he doesn't when look, look like he the fits. Fudo, when you, fudo. When you look what's at the, the fudo, fudo. That's the Japanese version. <laughs> when you look at the fudo, <laughs> he just looks like he doesn't belong. He doesn't. Be- <laughs> For some reason, he looks like, like Johnny Cash. He does look like yeah, Johnny Cash. Yeah, that's what it is. It's like, like he doesn't belong. That's 99 yeah. cent store Johnny Cash. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like uh, what are we doing here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see, he's thinking about fucking art school. That's his problem. That's what he's thinking about right now. I can't wait to get out of this thing. When you said a shotgun muzzle in the mouth, by the way, you can't pull your trigger so far away to use your toe. How do you get down there? What do you mean? Well, the muscles up here, your hands are holding it. Right, so the muscles in my mouth? Right, and the trigger's way down there. You got to put your toe down. You would, I don't think you can reach. Yeah. Well, I'd create an p- apparatus. Oh. <laughs> so what I would do is a I would- A little Rube Goldberg? <laughs> 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 like a pancake thing pops up, a light falls. You know this thing? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, like a, yeah, yeah. It would be a little ball. It would go through a Lego set. <laughs> it, by the way, the yeah. funniest suicide video <laughs> yeah. on earth, if you Rube Goldberg your own suicide. Yeah. You don't have to just sit there- Put your shotgun in your mouth. <laughs> oh my God. And if one domino <laughs> fell the wrong way, yeah, you're yeah. like, fuck, oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah. He's been trying to kill himself, my brother, for like a year. Because he can't get every <laughs> goal to yeah. figure itself out. Yeah. He goes down the xylophone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Those, I've always wanted to make one of those. Can we make Let's one? Let's do a bad friend's Rube. What's it called? Him? Ru- I think it's called a Rube Goldberg, right? A Rube Goldberg, I didn't know yeah. That had a name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, who the fuck is Rube Goldberg, yeah, by the way? The first idiot to try it, I guess. <laughs> Rube. By the way, if we find out he <laughs> was trying to kill himself and just wanted a way to like <laughs> get to have time to think about it, yeah, that's what it is. He made that so he's like, I just don't want to die yet. I'm going to think about the way I want to. Ki- <laughs> Goldberg himself, the world's most famous newspaper cartoonist, draws oh. animated cartoons for Path. These films would make so he was a fucking oh, right. So he had a brilliant brain of drawing cartoons and like had a great imagination. Mm-hmm. So he made a machine just to waste time. I love those. Things. They're so ingenious. Have yeah. you seen those there's, on YouTube? They're so ones ingenious. On YouTube that are legitimately like three minutes long of just a of track through someone's entire house and outside someone's backyard, back in the house. It's Crazy. insane. It's insanity. Biggest dude. <laughs> <laughs> Type in biggest Rube Goldberg machine. Yeah. Ever. And I want to see how long it takes to get through all that stuff. Because it's got to be just, how long is that one? 
epic chain react. What is that? Four minutes. Four fucking minutes. four minutes, dude. Of course it's an it's Asian, Asian guy. Of course yeah. it is. How could yeah, it man. not be? <laughs> By the way, it was probably started. Rube was a white guy. That Asian guy can't even say Rube Goldberg. Say it. <laughs> Rube Goldberg. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at that alone. Just ding, wow, ding, dude. Ding, bang, 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 and you're just waiting with the shock. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's just maybe insane. that's how they create the names, Asian names. Ping pong. Ping pong. <laughs> Some guy writing town. <laughs> what blow, what always blows my mind is is when it's multiple things at once. Look at that. that look at that. Look at that. That's insane. Right, like that. Too. Oh my god. That has to fall to pull the thing. There's no way we'll be able to do it, dude. No, we'll I, never be able. to Yeah, pull yeah. I'm not an engineer. Look is there anybody shit. we know that's smart enough to do to like waste time doing this? Mm-hmm. Like, do we have any autistic friends? Yeah, we're Glassman. <laughs> Glassman could do this. I think Glassman yeah. could do it. Yeah. Because because an autistic kid can see this in his mind. I'm sure that's. Yeah. I just don't have the. I don't know how to. I wouldn't know where to start. It's a lot of marbles, though. So imagine you're gonna cure yourself at the end here. Where there's a shotgun in your mouth, right? Mm-hmm. And you, they always tape these things. You have to tape them, right? Right. Yeah. But is your friend filming, or you yeah, just your friend? Set up a camera? And, and what if like you you had the, mu- the muzzle to your mouth, and he, the camera's not even on you? <laughs> <laughs> he fucks up in some way. You know what I mean? Can we do it again? Yeah, yeah. He's he's he just gets a text message yeah. right as the last thing falls. This is this is absurd. It's not as sexy looking as some of the other ones. But yeah, yeah. It's it, it's very intricate. Look at that thing. That's insane. Just, it's, it's, oh my god. Did you ever create anything like that when you were in school? Did you ever have to do like like a, an elaborate diorama or some bullshit like that? Remember how did we make those things for like fairs? Did you ever do like a school fair? You didn't have to do that? I mean, we had to. I never did it. You just bailed on all that shit. Yeah, you got, I got to say fuck it. You were a good kid. You did all the things that you needed to do. Yeah, we had one where you had to like get it, drop an egg off the building and somehow build an apparatus. So, to it, sit, wouldn't so it wouldn't break. break. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. You don't remember that. I never did it. Never did Everybody it. had to do that. I never did it. You had to make like an egg pillow so it wouldn't crack. No, I um. Then, dude, we, I was, then one of the kids that we went to school with fell off the building when he was doing it. No. Yeah, fell kidding. off and died. What did are you really? talking about? Fell off and died. Humpty Dumpty. At your school. That was his name. <laughs> <laughs> At your school, that's what happened. I set her up for the joke. <laughs> uh-huh. He had a great fall. <laughs> that's a good bit. That's a good bit. <laughs> That bit was something central. By the way, you know what's insane about Humpty Dumpty? What? All the king's horses and all the king's men. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. They went to go put him to back together again. But it's nuts because what does the king have to do with this egg guy? And if he cared so much about Eggman, why didn't he even let him live in the castle with him? Yeah. Here is this egg guy. Look at this poor bastard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he he's got to sit on a what fucking a poor wall. Ba- look he's at got, that fucking guy. So the king has relegated this guy to sitting on a wall all day, being embarrassed in front of the townspeople. Yeah. He at some point he gets tired and falls. You know, he gets. T- he's not gonna. He can't sleep. Let's be yeah. honest, though. He's Let's working. be honest, right? What? We're human beings, right? If there was Eggman, they would be fifth class <laughs> citizens. I don't know. They could be entertained. We're kind of Eggman. Like if we were at a restaurant, we saw Egg people. We'd be like, can we change tables? That's so bigoted. <laughs> Say. Are you egg phobic? Yeah, I'm egg phobic, dude. I th- I need a chance. You know what I mean? The guy's eating an omelet. Oh, he's eating. Yeah, yeah. How is that egg man eating an omelet? That's fucking crazy. But if he's eating bacon, is that chill? I guess so. That would be. Yeah. That'd be mine. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be like, yeah, yeah. Didn't the Beatles have a song about the egg man, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah yes, yeah, they yeah. do. Yes, the yeah. greatest band of all time. See, even we can. Fi- even now, we can find a way to get back to the Beatles. That's how good they were. That's how good. Yeah, it, yeah, you yeah, can yeah. go so obscure about egg people. We can talk about walruses, Beatles, Beatles. Yeah, yeah. Find a way go. to get back. Strawberry dude. fields, Beatles. Beatles. Yeah. You can always get back. Yeah. Get back to where you want to go. Did no, no? You guys didn't get that. You had to have Pete get that. Get back. I'll get back. I said we can always get back. Did you mean to do that? Yes. Though? Fuck. Oh, that was get back to yeah. where you want. You know what that song is about? Yeah. You know what that song is about, don't you? What is it? That's in reference to the police. Uh, um, like Sting? Yes. No, <laughs> no the police uh, abusing, oh, black I people, <laughs> abusing black people and immigrants and saying, go back to where you came from. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. Scumbags. Yeah, so but I mean, basically, like, if I don't think the king would care if the egg man fell. Time out. Why did he send so many horses and all of his men? Obviously, he cared about egg man. You think he might have been related to him and just... Look, it was his brother. They didn't talk anymore. Well, is the king an Eggman too? Was the king an Eggman? I don't fucking know. That would be, that if they were like egg people. What if he was half egg? He could be half oh. egg. And he was ashamed of his egg half. Yeah. Let's see. Zoom in on these fucking lyrics. He had a great fall. All the king's horses, all the king's men couldn't put him together again. So he was like, go try to fix my brother. Yeah. And they could never do it. I mean, it's impossible. To fix a broken egg? It's impossible. Yeah. 
it's kind of like when JFK's head came out. It was like you couldn't scoop that back yeah. in. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, it's similar. I mean, she would. Yeah. When you watch I wouldn't her use doing that. It, you know, me reference. Well, but, when you see her doing it, you're like, what are you? She was scooping his. Head. I know. Don't. It's too dark. I wasn't there. You weren't there. <laughs> I know, but I can't imagine what Jackie um, witnessed. It's nuts. Well, I mean, what would you do? If my significant other was in the car next to me and got shot in the head like that? Yeah, and it's... Oh, first of all, I'll never sleep again. No. Sleeping no. is no longer a thing. Sleep no more. Yeah, sleep no more. Nightmares. Constant Constant nightmares. nightmares. Daymares. Daymares. I mean, all... <laughs> you would have daymares, yeah, All day sure. long, you'd be like... Ah! <laughs> yeah. So afraid of everything? Yeah. I don't know how to function if I saw that next to me. No. But then wouldn't you... you and here's why. Wouldn't you, as Mr. Revenge, spend the rest of your life trying to find the people that did it? But they know, but they know that the guy that did it, guys, did it, it, plural, the one guy that they thought that did it, plural, didn't, didn't really do it. I know he didn't. There was other right. So there's a there, so, and, and you have to spend the rest of your life knowing the guys that did it are never going to be found. Never. Never. Fuck. Because they're the shadowy people. <gasps> they're yeah. shadowmen. Yeah, shadowmen, dude. What if Humpty Dumpty didn't fall? Oh, dear, I never thought of that. Fuck. That's I think it. he Fuck got pushed. Mind. Bro. Bro. That's. Whoa, dude. Who? Who pushed Humpty Dumpty? Jack Ruby, man. <laughs> no. Oh, shit. <laughs> that yeah. filthy son of a so bitch. Killed yeah. two people. Or the king did it, and it was all an inside job. Oh, and the king was like, get all my men yeah. and all my horses oh. and help. Yeah. yeah. The king, and, dude, the king and the egg were smoking a little something, something. What would they be smoking? Laugh. Huh? What? Opium. Okay. <laughs> no. Something, something is vague. Others have suggested that Humpty Dumpty is King Richard III of England, who is supposed to have been humpbacked and who was defeated at the Battle of Bosworth Field. So it's mocking King Richard III. Oh. And he's British, and you know what that means? What? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me but either. Something there he is. Me either. He does have an egg face. He does. Go to that picture, the re the realistic looking one to the left there. Yes, that's yes. it. He does have an egg face. That's not just a white guy. That's what they look. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of what we look yeah, like. Yeah. That's just a plain old white guy. But dude. his chin is eggy. Yeah, there's just that's your skin color. No, his shape is eggy. Yeah, he's got an like an oval shaped face. Thank well, then you. then you're saying Jay Leno has a fucking. You better believe it. Yeah, he's, egghead. He's more scrambled than anything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no. I see. He's poached. Uh, <laughs> is, is that wait? Is that the king's skull? Yeah. yeah, that's king. That's that's King Richard the Third's skull. Whoa. Wow, why they kept the skull? Yeah, they always keep the skulls. Yeah. Oh, so when Queen Elizabeth died, they're going to keep the skull? You better believe what do you mean it. When? <laughs> yeah. What do you mean yeah. when she dies? She died? She's been dead for 15 years. No, no, not, queen, not the queen now. Yeah, he's talking she's about... She's been dead for 15 years. Yeah. No, she's not. He's, she's not. I, ha I am fully in on the conspiracy theory that she is AI. Yeah, but she's still alive, <laughs> technically. No, I think they found a body double and manipulated it. To All right, fine, like but like the regular people, the people that aren't in QAnon... Right? I'm not in Q. Yeah, you do, dude. You're catch Q shit. That's Q shit, dude. That's insurrectionist I'm, shit. No, no. So she's still alive, right? I'm she's you. like a hundred years. I'm in you, by the way, not Q. You. We're ahead of Q. Okay. <laughs> she's been dead for so long. But he, did which you, one is? You know why I know about this? Huh? <laughs> the Crown. Oh, the show, The Crown. Yeah. I will there never. A, I love that show. Won't. It's it. so good. May not. Will not. Oh cannot. my god, it's so good. Don't. The Crown's amazing. I don't support the Brit the British. <laughs> Elvis. It's the all the dark shit too, bro. It's all the weird dark shit, the Diana shit, all the, all that dark shit. What about the incest? There was no incest. Oh, they man. skipped over the incest. Oh, they there's, fucked each other. Do you mean there's no incest in the royal family? Prince Charles looks like that, not from incest. He's just a fucked up looking dude. Google incest in the royal family. The whole, their whole, they're predicated. Their whole history is about fucking incest. Their whole shit, they fucked each other. Is the royal family inbred? You better believe it. Look what it says. Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip do share two common lineages. This would make the most this this would make the most <laughs> inbred living British royals their children. Yeah, but if it's like second, third cousins, it's okay. You no, just... it's not. No, Bobby. It's yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jetski. No, it is okay if it's second or third cousin. If you're justifying something that you did with your cousins, leave no, it out I'm of the show. Any, no, I'm not. I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm defending the did people. Did you fuck one of your cousins? No, I'm defending the people <laughs> that are in love with their second or third cousin. No, I'm not defending these people. That's insane. All right, well, I'm going to say right now. Okay, there's no fucking scientific proof that if you make love and have a baby with your third cousin, that the baby is going to come out all whack. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I want to see the scientific proof. Yeah, that yeah, says yeah, yeah, whack. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Baby came out whack. Can, ask, can you have babies with your third cousin? I mean, you can. And will they come out whack? <laughs> will they come out whack? And will they come out whack? 
I feel like the probability. In short, is much yes, higher. it is legal for second and third cousins to marry in the U.S. Beyond that, state laws get a little more complicated, according to the National Conference. Bingo! Of state so it's not against the law. Twenty-five states prohibit marriages between first cousins. That's gross. Yeah. That's too. The blood is too thick. It's there. Yes. Any but blood that's is what gross. They like. Yeah, here's the. They like the thick blood. That's, that's right. Why they do it? In Arizona, the first cousin is marriage allowed if both parties are sixty-five or older, and no one and. Or, or one of them is infertile. So they're basically <laughs> saying, nice. if you're too old to have kids or one of them can't have kids, then you guys might as well just fuck until you're dead. You're 65. That's why a lot of people retire to Arizona. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. That's a big retirement community. Yeah. yeah. Uh, proof of genetic counseling from a genetic counselor in Maine. All you got to do is prove that you guys uh, know it and are okay with it. Mm-hmm. Minnesota says, only certain types, eh? That's so funny. Mm-hmm. What kind of cousins can get married here? Well, certain types. <laughs> Same thing in fucking Wisconsin. Another fucking Scotty said, if the woman is 55 or older, it's permanently sterile. Only both parties are 65 or older. is the same thing in Utah. Wow. So you got to prove that you can't have kids. Yeah. What if you use somebody else's data to prove you can't have kids just so you can sneak by the system to have kids with your cousin? And they catch you. They put you in jail? Mm-hmm. It's dope. Yeah. But if you make love to your first cousin and have a kid, would they come out weird? Yes. Okay. Because <laughs> I know brother and sister, yeah. Don't do it. If what? you're thinking about it, don't do I it. Don't, none of my cousins are attractive. I don't know. Yeah, none of them are. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they've never met a second cousin. You've never met a second cousin? No. Huh. Yeah. Have you? Yeah. Is there a second cousin that you have that's a cute boy? No. How about third cousin? <laughs> no. <laughs> you wouldn't even think it's such a, you wouldn't even think about it. They're almost all women. Okay. Yeah. And still no. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Are you the only good looking one? <laughs> no, like I I there I have attractive family members. That's a yes. Yeah, members. that sounds like a yes. You I have, have a what? I have attractive family members, but I would never have thought about wanting to. Sure. Like yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm, <laughs> no, you've been defending it since the jump. No, I haven't. I'm just saying technically, I wouldn't do it. But I, I just think that on paper, third cousin wouldn't be weird. It would be. I think yeah, it'd be. This a is Sally, weird. my wife. She's a third cousin. Why would you tell everybody? I would have to tell <laughs> people no. Well, well, then it's weird. No, it's because just thrown you, out there. I don't have to Google it. Can you imagine at a at a party? Yeah. Hey, this is my co- this is my wife Sally. Hey, Sally, I'm I'm Kevin. I'm Kevin. I'm Kevin. Yeah, Sally's my third cousin. Immediately, <laughs> I don't like those people. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I, they're gross. You they're wouldn't gross. announce it. No, dude. How many people yeah, are on Earth? Weird. How many humans are on Earth? Billions. Yeah, billions. Yeah, yeah. Why do you need Why, a cousin? options? Why do you need a cousin? What if you? Let me just propose. Dri- start driving. Go to a new place. There are some places, right, in Idaho, right, uh-huh. where they're rural, uh-huh. right, a small community. Uh-huh. What if it's like a, a certain type of religion where it's like, we, you know, they have their own cult and your options are slim, uh-huh. right? You have second and third cousins running around. What are you going to do? Leave. Yeah. Leave town. There's a lot of towns. But they don't know because it's like they don't, they're not exposed to television. They're they not know. exposed to, What do you mean? Everybody knows that fucking a family member would be wrong. It's like instinctual. Yeah, incestual. I, uh, yeah, okay. It's inse- it's incestual, instinctual. <laughs> it's instinct. It's instinctual. Right. Well, it's instinctual. Okay. You know better. I do. Yeah. What if it? What if you made love to somebody that's your brother or sister, but they're not biological? They were adopted. Well, that's like on every porn site. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. a fact. Yeah, yeah. But by the way, they're adopted. There's no blood there. That's fine. That, yeah. that, that's. That, I mean, it, it, I don't love the idea. But so it's what also- Woody Allen did was fine. That's <laughs> not true. Faded questioning. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he raised that girl. That's gross. Okay, that's gross. Okay. If two people were raised together, I'm just throwing out ideas. I don't believe anything I say. Check it out. Yeah, I'm yeah. a boy. Yeah, my yeah. my parents, my mom remarries, and a guy who and a guy who has a girl, uh, and we find each other attractive, which I think happens. I'm kind of okay with it because they, they, there's no relation. They're just strangers that met, and it's proximity. Yeah. But. If there's any sort of family lineage at all. Yeah. 80th cousin. Uh Uh-huh. Gross. Okay. What about this scenario? Gross. Can I throw out (laughs) can I throw it out to you? I bet it's gross. It probably isn't. Go. All right. Uh, Let me I will throw it to you. Okay. Okay. I feel feel like it's gonna be gross too. Thank you. (laughs) It's not gonna be gross, all right? Let's suppose you were adopted. Okay. All right. And you didn't know your family lineage, right? And you love your adoptive parents. You have a great life, right? You go on Tinder. You meet a guy, right? You fall in with this guy, right? And you start having sex with the guy. You really in love, and then you guys do, a you know a DNA test, a, yeah, a, a, you know ancestry dot com, like most third dates. You do a <laughs> DNA test, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the natural. And you progression find out your biological brother. That was your. Bro- what would you do? Throw up, and then, <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm out of there. Yeah, that's it. 
You made yeah. the mistake. You got to move on. Even if he begs, like, come on, we have something going. Yeah, I'd be like, we're clearly not meant for each other. If yeah. we're into this. See? But you swallowed my cum. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Insane. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's flip it on you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we obviously have a proper stance on this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what would you do? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Are you kidding? You That's imagine. crazy. Here you are, single. You're back out on the dating scene. Yeah. You date someone. It turns out yeah. your mom had a kid that you didn't know about. Shush, shush. Down Different in San dad. Diego. Different dad? <laughs> same dad. Oh, I have the same dad and mom. That's it's your sister. Okay, my biological sister. That's what you said to her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? Don't give me the same scenario. I'm just flipping it to make it seem broader. Uh, all right, go so ahead. So here your mom and yeah. your dad yeah. have a girl. They get rid of Already, her. Already? No. All right, here your mom fucks a guy yeah, yeah. who's cool, okay. right? <laughs> and the daughter runs cycle. away. <laughs> yeah. And fucking she comes to a show. She doesn't know. Right. You don't know. She doesn't know. Right. You hook up. Yeah. And she says, you know, I'm going to do that 23 and Me thing. Yeah. I would say I already did it. Oh. Yeah. And what did you find? I found that 90% Korean, 10% Japanese. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. I found out that I have like a brother. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, what's your mom's name? Jeannie. Oh my God, that was my mom's name. Yeah? Holy shit. Where, where is she from? Korea. Same. Okay. But where does she live in Southern California? Does she live here? She lives in Arizona. Wait, my mom now lives in Arizona. <laughs> and she used to live in- Your biological mom. Poway. I'm from Poway. Wait a minute. We can still fuck. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, she's yeah. figuring it out, trying to get out of it. Yeah, yeah, he's trying yeah. to find a way to stay in it. No, I, I, I try to get, 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 get one more smash. You want one more fuck? <laughs> yeah, 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 for all time's sake. <laughs> 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 no, I would never. That would be gross. You're right. Yucky, Disgusting. Yucky, 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 yucky. I know we forced you into that, yeah, and you yeah. actually don't find it that gross, it, it, but still, I'm glad you turned. I turned. Because you were in. No, it. I wouldn't fuck. Come on, man, dude. Okay. Yeah. It's kind of like, like old no, boy. What? Huh? It's kind of like old boy in a way. Yeah, an old boy. Yeah. You see the movie Old Boy? No. Oh, my God. It's one of the greatest movies ever made. Wait, yeah, Old Boy? Old Boy is good. It's, it's a Korean movie. It's one of the greatest movies. I have the posters framed in my fucking. That is one of the greatest movies. Don't tell him. Because yeah. I got. I, so let me tell you about this movie. Bill Burr had a birthday party when I first met him, and I brought this movie on DVD. This is back when streaming wasn't the thing, mm -hmm. and I gave him this movie. He still talks about this movie. This is the first Korean movie. Dude, that fucking old boy, dude. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I love when you brought me that movie, Bob. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Such he a good literally fucking, fucking flick. He fucking says, says that. I bought him that. It's Please watch this movie. I'm going to watch it. It is fucking amazing. You're in it. <laughs> well, can I say something? <laughs> That 100 percent the little girl to the right looks like you. That's Bobby Lee. Oh, I thought you meant I was Mixic Choi. You are Mixic Choi. Yeah, the guy. <laughs> uh, he literally is what I want to be. Mm. Everything about what? Don't, no. No, no. She's no. Said, I think that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, like I, I've it. like literally, I literally, not, I'm not afraid to look older. Yeah. Because of this know. dude. Oh, because he, yeah. This good dude is like my fuck dude. That dude in this movie. He does a scene in this movie, and I'm not gonna tell you what it is, and you'll tell me what it is because you'll know. When you see it. Does he have a hammer? I know the Yeah, scene. that scene <laughs> yeah. is so crazy. Yeah. And it's like, if you technically, even as a director and an actor, mm -hmm. you wouldn't be able to do it. Well, he's not building something, I can tell. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to do this scene. Mm -hmm. It's one shot. It's insane. Imagine he's just putting together an Ikea desk with his hammer. And this is like an intense scene. <laughs> yeah, but wait scene. till yeah. you see how wait, he does wait, it. Yeah, wait till you see. This movie is so amazing. I'm going to see it. And then, can I just tell you the premise or not? No, I want to watch it. All right, let me watch you. You won't watch Elvis. Back. Watch huh? Elvis first. Never. <laughs> All right. Fuck that. All right. By the way, shout out to Bill Burr for playing Fenway. That's insane. Is that where's that? Fenway is the baseball stadium that uh, the Boston Red Sox play in, and he he's playing it right like, now. I think now. I think he did it last night. Maybe I have no idea. But do Bill Burr Fenway? But he put up a photo, and it just made me feel so good for him. I fucking. He's the best. I love him so he's much. He's better than the best. He's the coolest. Nicest guy in the world. He's the fucking ever August 21st. That was uh, yesterday. Or today. Fuck, that's right now. Mm -hmm. Wow. Fenway Park, dude. So to him, I know this means nothing to you, but to him, I mean, dude, this is like my ch your childhood. Like for me, it'd be like playing Wrigley Field in, in Chicago. It's like, it's insane. Oh my God. It's where, like Eddie Vedder plays fucking Wrigley Field. And it's yeah. like, it'd be, doing that would be, look, there he is. There's our boy, Billy. What's going on? This is Bill Burr. I'm at Fenway Park. I'm going to be here Sunday. August 21st, there's still a couple of tickets left. Uh, come down and listen to my ignorance as I scream out there uh, on the triangle where you hit inside the park home runs. So proud of him, man. 
Can you imagine selling out a baseball stadium <laughs> yeah. where at, where where a, where two teams play? One man is able to sell them uh, the tickets where two teams play. Yeah, that blows my fucking. Well, we mind. We sold two hundred seats in New York, so that's pretty good. We, no, it was. I think it was one sixteen. One hundred sixteen seats. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. No, we did. We sold it thirty seven thousand. Wow, that's how that's many seats. Insane, dude. <laughs> I can't even like. Uh, comprehend. Well, I don't know if he sold out. I don't know if that's what the seating was for stand up, but still, it's insane. Can you imagine if I but, don't think he sold thirty seven? But imagine uh, like how many followers you huh? how many how many followers you have on Instagram? Well for a concert 40. it's still thirty seven thousand. Forty how many? Yeah. Like over forty, I think. So what if, every, every for, one of your what followers. If, what if all of them came to see you <laughs> perform at one time? I can't fathom that. I mean that's nuts. Yeah. By like, the way, we did sell two shows fast in Gramercy in New York because it was a pop up show. We didn't know we were gonna do it, it as yeah, last yeah. minute. Come. And we're gonna we're gonna fucking um we're gonna do a tour now. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Appreciate it. Hey, now, thank you guys for everything you've done for me. I, we I'm don't really care. grateful. We, 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 I, like, we will yeah. do it for the rest of I our lives. I care life. and I love you. We love you. I love you guys. Come see me and Juicy in Salt Lake City, September 9 and 10. Honestly, like you've, you, add something to this, you add something to the show that's uh, pretty cool. You, yeah. It's beyond pretty cool. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a fucking incredible. Yeah. And uh, why don't you thank them for being bad friends and take us out? Thank you for being a bad friend. The best. 